Welcome to Fayetteville, Arkansas. This part of the state has been high on my list to visit and I knew I was in for quite the adventure. I had a Triumph Tiger Explorer motorcycle rental waiting for me and I was ready to hit the road to do some motorcycle riding. I didn't waste any time when I arrived in Fayetteville. I hopped on the bike to check out Devil's Den State Park. The views of the impressive rock dam spans the entire creek which forms Lake Devil. It was a great start to my motorcycle trip. On my first evening there, I made sure to take advantage of the rooftop dining option at Feed and Folly and enjoyed some amazing food with a sunset view. The next day was packed full with riding, so I made sure to start with a delicious breakfast from Little Bread Company, which I may have gone back the next day for another round of goodies. <laughs> I then headed out to ride one of the new ADV gravel routes to Kings River Falls Natural Area. This off-road route was a challenge in just the right ways, and the views were absolutely worth it for a quick one-mile hike out to the waterfall for a much-deserved snack break. I can see how this is a must-visit spot to spend on a hot summer day, too. One of the highlights of my trip was riding through the Ozarks, and of course the route that should be on everyone's motorcycle bucket list, the Pig Trail Scenic Byway. Thanks to the tips from Experience Fayetteville, I knew exactly where to go and what to expect. Despite the rain, the views were still breathtaking and the ride was unforgettably fun to ride. Make sure to stop at Turner Bend for some commemorative items. I made sure to grab a couple stickers from my motorcycle journal, a patch, and some pins. Of course, there's way more to do in Fayetteville than just ride motorcycles. And on my last day, I spent the entire day exploring around the city. My first stop was at Farmer's Table for breakfast, riding around some of the really cool local shops, and you bet I absolutely found a smoothie bowl to enjoy for lunch from Mamaka's. This Mac bowl was named after the owner's little brother, and it was delicious. I made my way back to the hotel, unfortunately had to return my motorcycle rental, but I spent the rest of the late afternoon shopping downtown, which was conveniently all within walking distance from my hotel. So I made sure to enjoy a crafted cocktail and some much requested popcorn at Maxine's Tap Room, which is one of the oldest bar establishments within the state, and it boasts a 75 foot long bar inside of it. It was pretty cool. And then to top off my night, I caught a bit of theater at Theater Squared, which is always putting on some new productions that you won't be able to see anywhere else. So the Chicken and Biscuits comedy left me laughing well into the evening and was a great way to end my time in the city. Throughout my entire trip, the people at Fayetteville were friendly, and it was clear that the city takes pride not in just its traditions, but also in the future. It's always moving forward, and Fayetteville stands as a tall, creative, active, and above all else, welcoming community. And I absolutely felt that. If you're looking for a new adventure, Fayetteville, Arkansas is definitely a place to check out. Whether you're a seasoned motorcycle rider or just looking for a fun, unique getaway, Fayetteville has something for everyone. Thanks again to Experience Fayetteville for making my trip unforgettable. I can't wait to go back and ride some more of the motorcycle routes on my own motorcycle very soon.